Welcome aboard. Today, we're embarking on a journey across the world's oceans to explore the titans of offshore energy. The top 10 floating production storage and offloading facilities, or FPSOs, ranked by their production capacity. These colossal vessels are marvels of engineering, operating in some of the most challenging environments on the planet to bring energy to our fingertips. Whether you're an industry professional or simply curious about the wonders of marine operations, this voyage is for you. So, hoist the anchor and let's set sail. Where do you think are the biggest FPSOs located? Let's find out. At number 10, we anchor at the FPSO Kwame Krumah, proudly bearing the name of Ghana's first president, operated by Tolo Oil. This FPSO is stationed in the Jubilee Field, about 60 kilometers off Ghana's coast. With a production capacity of 120,000 barrels of oil per day, it's a cornerstone of Ghana's burgeoning oil industry. Navigating to number 9, we encounter the Glen Lyon FPSO, a fortress in the tumultuous waters of the UK's North Sea. In this time lapse, you can see the floating sea giant taking shape in the Korean shipyard, operated by BP. This FPSO boasts a production capacity of 130,000 barrels per day. BP claims it to be the largest harsh water FPSO ship in the world. It's part of the ambitious Quad 204 project, revitalizing the Shehalian and Loyal fields to extend their productive life. Anchoring at number 8 is FPSO Cidade de Sacuarima, a jewel in Petrobras crown operating in Brazil's Santos Basin Presalt region. The facility operates at depths exceeding 2,200 meters. The FPSO is equipped to handle the high gas content typical of pre-salt fields and boasts of advanced carbon dioxide separation with reinjection system to reduce environmental impact. Matching its peers with a production capacity of 150,000 barrels per day, it's instrumental in unlocking Brazil's vast offshore resources. At number 7, we delve deep with the FPSO PSVM that's stationed in Angola's Block 31 and operated by BP. The FPSO is integrated into the advanced PSVM subsea system with 40 subsea wells connected via a vast network of pipelines and risers. MODEC was awarded the EPCIC contract for the FPSO and they delivered it successfully by achieving first oil by February 2013. The FPSO incorporates advanced technologies to withstand harsh environmental conditions prevalent in deep water locations. With a production capacity of 157,000 barrels per day, it's named after the Plateo, Saturno, Venus, and Marte fields it taps into. Operating in water depths of up to 2,000 meters, it's one of the deepest offshore production systems globally. Cracking the top six is the Egina FPSO, a Titan operated by Total Energies off Nigeria's coast. It is designed to hold 2.3 million barrels of oil and connects to 44 subsea wells at a depth of 1,500 meters, producing 208,000 barrels of oil every day. One of the largest FPSO's total energies has ever deployed, with a length of 330 meters. It contributes approximately 10% of Nigeria's oil production. This FPSO development has high local content, with significant fabrication done in Nigeria, boosting local industry and expertise. At number five, we meet FPSO Pasflor, another impressive vessel from Total Energies operating in Angola's offshore fields. It was designed by KBR and built in Korea by DSME for Total Angola with a value of $2.3 billion. Pasflor operates at location with depth of 1,200 meters with a production capacity of 220,000 barrels per day. Able to store approximately 1.9 million barrels it was designed to operate without dry docking for 20 years. The FPSO produces from across four fields with varying oil characteristics, showcasing its engineering versatility. It's notable for its pioneering subsea separation and pumping technology. Steaming ahead to number four is the Liza Unity FPSO. It will be deployed in Guyana's Liza field and will form part of a series of FPSOs that would be deployed for the South American nation. Designed to produce approximately 220,000 barrels of oil per day and has associated gas treatment capacity of 400 million cubic feet per day with water injection capacity of 250,000 barrels per day. 
the FPSO will be spread moored in water depth of about 1,600 meters and will be able to store around 2 million barrels of crude oil. There are a total of 19 topsides modules. The FPSO represents SBM Offshore's first FOSS forward design, benefiting from standardization. LISA has also been awarded Sustain One Notation by ABS. This shows SBM's commitment to sustainability. Holding the third spot is FPSO Bonga, operated by Shell Nigeria Exploration and Production Company. The FPSO was built by Samsung Heavy Industries in Korea and achieved first oil in November 2005, with a formidable production capacity of 225,000 barrels per day. It's Nigeria's first deep water development and a game changer for the country's offshore industry. The FPSO uses an innovative steel catenary riser system for oil transport from seabed to surface. The unit operates in water depths of over 1,000 meters, demonstrating advanced deep water capabilities. The facility is a significant contributor to Nigeria's economy and technological advancement in the oil sector during its early days. Anchoring at number two is FPSO Dahlia, yet another engineering marvel from Total Energies in Angola. This FPSO is currently producing at the Dahlia oil field in Block 17 of the coast of Cabinda, Angola, with an impressive production capacity of 240,000 barrels per day and a storage capacity of 2 million barrels of oil. It's one of the largest FPSOs ever built to date. The FPSO, built in South Korea by Samsung Heavy Industries, has a hull dimension of 300 meters in length, 60 meters in breadth, and stands 32 meters high with approximately 29,400 tons of topsides. The FPSO has a design life of 20 years, which started production on December 2006. The Dahlia field has three main reservoirs and is projected to contain about 1 billion barrels of crude oil. The startup of Dahlia coincided with Angola's entry into the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC. Finally, at number one, we have the formidable duo FPSO Kizamba A and B, operated by ExxonMobil off the coast of Angola. Block 15 was allotted to ExxonMobil in 1994, and production from Kizamba A and Kizamba B began in 2004 and 2005 respectively. Each FPSO boasts a staggering production capacity of 250,000 barrels per day. They are among the largest FPSOs ever constructed. Each unit costs approximately $800 million and were built in South Korea by Hyundai. Kizamba A is expected to recover approximately 1 billion barrels of oil from the Hongo and Chakalho fields. Kizamba B saw the development of the Kassange and Daikanza discoveries in water depths of 3,300 feet to 3,400 feet. Both the FPSOs were designed for long-term production with minimal need for dry docking or maintenance interruptions. The FPSOs utilize innovative subsea systems that allow for efficient extraction from multiple deep water reservoirs. These incredible FPSOs are more than just vessels, they're floating cities and hubs of innovation, braving the planet's most challenging environments to fuel our world. From the depths of the Atlantic off Africa's coast to the stormy North Sea, they represent human ingenuity, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of progress in the energy sector. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating voyage across the globe's oceans to discover the top 10 FPSOs by production capacity. We hope you've enjoyed learning about these engineering marvels as much as we have. Don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the world's most astounding technological feats. Until next time, safe travels and fair winds.